Hello, Lux here. Today's video is going to be my favorite kind, short and informative. As you can see, this two-wheeled robot is able to move around without losing balance. We're going to be looking at how this was accomplished using a PID function. So I have a duplicate vehicle set up here. Uh, I've removed all of the programming from this one, so as you can see it'll just fall over as soon as you spawn it. We're going to take a look at how to do the programming from scratch. So let's take two input nodes. We want WS for forward reverse, A and D for left and right. I'm going to set A and D aside for now, work with that a little later. Then we're going to go to our gyroscope and get the pitch output. Uh, so pitch is plus minus one. That's the maximum input or output rather is plus or minus one. And we want to combine W and S with that. W and S also has a maximum minimum of one. So we want to scale it down. Uh, to make it have less influence on there. So what I'm going to do to accomplish this is grab a divide function here and then a constant function. I'm going to lay those out. So I'm going to set my constant to 8 here to really reduce the maximum coming out of our WS. And then we're going to get a subtract node and we're going to subtract the WS output from our pitch information that we're receiving from the gyroscope. Then we'll take the result of that subtract function and take it to the A input of our PID function. So this is the basic setup for our PID input. The PID is going to take this information and try and tell our motor and thruster how to react to keep the vehicle upright. So I have my thruster set to 100, my wheel is set to 90 power, I want some slow speed on the wheels and I want quick reaction on the thruster. I'm also going to turn on mirror mode in anticipation of our tank steering setup. I'm also going to set up motor braking so that it doesn't continually drift one way or the other. I connect a constant to the B input of the PID function. I've been told a few times it's not necessary, so feel free to skip this. Alright, so now we want to combine our forward and reverse input with our left and right input so that we don't have to stop every time we want to turn. So I'm going to take two add nodes uh, and I'm going to take the A and D input and put a negate function between that and one of the add nodes. This is going to reverse what it's sending out, so we can send alternating signals to the two different motors, one on either side. I'm going to then add the WS input to that A and D input I just set up, and then from there we're going to need two more add nodes. And we want to take the output from the previous two and send it into those two, and then we also want to take our PID output and put it into those add nodes. This is going to have the PID function influence both the wheel motors and the thruster whenever it's trying to correct balance. So printing the bot with uh, just the P function set to 1 default, we can see it's pretty close. It, it's standing upright, it's moving around a little bit, and if we mess with the inputs too much, it does start to kind of sway and it's not really keeping itself in the right spot. So back in the program menu, I'm going to be looking at the P function and just raising it up a little bit. We can see that's actually pretty close. It, it seems to be working pretty well now. And if we continue going forward, still pretty good. Stopping, it, it seems to lean pretty far. Turning works okay. Let's see if we can just smooth this out a little bit more. All right, so when looking at a PID function, uh, the P at the front is gonna be sort of a multiplier for the pitch. So let's imagine this red line here is our target value of zero for pitch. If it, the gyroscope tells us that we're off by about five degrees, it's gonna go below that red line, and then the PID function is gonna try and correct itself by five degrees of movement, sending it back towards the red line. It's not going to keep the weight of the craft or momentum in consideration. So a lot of times when it goes to correct, it can overshoot and go too high. And then when it tries to come back down, it'll overshoot again and this multiplies and stacks on itself. So we want to have it to where 
the P function has it almost perfectly correct and just kind of come right back to that red line and not overshoot. And it looks like we are basically there. It, it's pretty good at self-correcting. So the next value we're going to be tweaking is our D value, which is the third one down here. This is going to tell it to try and overcorrect a little bit based on what the P value is reporting. Um, so if you have it too high, the craft will get really jittery and kind of just slap itself on the ground or, or something. But it looks like right now we have a good value set up. We're able to move around, roll in circles, see sudden stops, reversing, it, it's not falling over and it's staying upright. So this seems pretty well tuned. It, it could probably be improved to be smoother, but I'm not an expert and uh, this is good enough for me. So hopefully if there are any newbies like me out there uh, who don't know anything about PID, they'll find this video helpful and can help you make some cool stuff. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I uh, just want to say thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Lux. Thanks again.